Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back, Football Manager 19. This is episode 10. Uh, so I am. Uh, I actually woke up a little early this morning to record this because this needs to go up this week. And I am a couple of days behind in recording. So um, just to kind of give you guys a real quick update, and if you're not interested in the personal stuff, Fast forward to the uh, to the where the video starts. Uh, won't be but a couple of minutes probably, uh, if that long. Um, I had mentioned that uh, I was going to be a grandfather. Uh, due date uh, was September eighth, so a couple of weeks away from here. And uh, I was out of town. I was heading out of town for a couple of days on a work trip, and I was about three hours out of town. And my phone rings, and it's my daughter. And uh, during the day, which is unusual. And she says, Dad, I'm on my way to the hospital. I am in labor. And so I had to turn around and drive back uh, to, to Houston. And uh, so I am recording this on Wednesday morning. Uh, my granddaughter arrived Monday night. Uh, and uh, so I was at the hospital for that. And uh, then, of course, I was back at the hospital last night to visit her and my daughter and to see her, see them. And uh, they should be coming home hopefully today. Uh, there were no complications or any issues uh, with the with the labor, delivery, the birthing, or anything else. And uh, so they should come home today. Uh, so just a heads up. <laughs> so you know I record in my living room. So my space here is uh, I've got a I've got a 15 by 30 living room, and uh, so my tv and stuff are back at that end of the uh, living room and uh, all the seating area and then uh, over here i've got my guitar collection and uh some storage and you know just different you know diff different stuff and then i've got in this in this corner right here i've got my desk and my computers and my uh my lizard and my cats when you see them here um, so this is my space, but you know, it's in my house, it, you know, you know, we live here and, and, uh, you know, uh, so I don't have a studio. I don't have a soundproofed area. I don't shut myself away from my family while I do this. They don't mind that I do it, but you know, I, I balance my recording around them watching TV. They balance their watching TV amount around my recording. And, uh, you know, so you see the cats wander in and sometimes you hear the wife hollering at the kids to do stuff. And, and uh, you know, you hear the kids talking sometimes. And uh, so probably in the near future, uh, you will start hearing uh, baby cries, <laughs> which, you know, babies cry and there's nothing you can do about that. So, uh, again, this is just, uh, you know, I record and this is real life. So sometimes you may get that and and, uh, and my grandbaby may be... Uh, uh, an audio backing track to uh, to some of my videos. Uh, well, you know, if that's the case, so be it. I uh, hope you guys don't mind, and uh, if you do mind, I apologize in advance, but, you know, that's just going to be the way it is. Um, so anyway, that's what's going on, but let's get into Football Manager. Uh, all, other big news, uh, Football Manager 20 uh, was uh, released for pre-release yesterday, uh, so today is what? Uh, I don't know. Wednesday, August 28th. So uh, came up on Steam yesterday, so I have pre-ordered it. 10% uh, discount if you go get it now uh, before a certain date. I don't remember. I don't get kickbacks. So um, I've given them a free plug to the four, you know, four or five people that may watch this. Um, <coughs> and uh, so, yeah, so that's uh, out for pre-order November... November 8th is the uh, release date. And then, of course, you know, uh, by pre-ordering, you get access to the beta, to the, uh, beta version uh, that comes out about two weeks earlier. So we'll, uh, we'll have access to that. So typically, like I've done the last two, uh, two releases for 18 and 19, uh, we will probably finish up this save wherever we're at. We'll finish up the last season or two. Uh, we may blow through a couple of seasons real quick. Uh, when we get to that point, uh, we will do a pre-release beta save. I haven't given much thought to, to what it's going to be yet. But typically, uh, this past year for FM19, I did the save with Rangers. And uh, so we'll we'll do something with the pre-release. We'll do a short, you know, one or two season save, uh, you know, because like I said, it's usually a two-week period. 
and we'll take a you know that way we can take an early look at the game kind of start taking a look at some of the things and then uh then we'll decide on on a long-term save uh for uh for fm20 uh so if you guys have any ideas uh either for the short pre-release or the long-term save let me know uh i probably will do another journeyman but not right away uh i do like to you know put a break there for sure uh, because we're, ju we're just doing a journeyman here, although, you know, that journeyman does, you know, take a long, can take the whole year, so, yeah, you know, it's just one of those things, but, uh, anyway, so that's going on, and there was something else, there was something else, um, Grandbaby FM 20, November 8th, uh, there was something else I wanted to bring up, but I can't remember. Oh, well. So uh, let's take a look here. So uh, we played uh, the strongest after we beat Royal Pari last episode. We played the strongest, uh, got a 1-1 draw. Uh, Aziche got sent off in the 23rd minute. Verano scored in the 60th, and then we gave up a late equalizer playing a man down. Uh, then we lost to Blooming. Uh, we dominated this game, both of these games. We lost uh, to Guabrit Vera, 1-0. Uh, uh, Vallejos got sent off in the 66th minute. They scored in the 94th minute for the winner. Um, both of these, we dominated the game statistically. And just, you know, like, like I think this game, uh, Blooming, we could look, but I think it was like 23 shots to four, and we lose 1-0 horrible and then uh we played potosi got a one nil win charimony uh in, in honesty charimony had been dinged up a little bit so i actually rested him we played uh our young striker mesa uh is that his name where's he at not there yeah hugo mesa six three not good um so he's still looking for his first goal uh, put Charmoni back in, pop, he put one in the net. Um, so yeah, so today we're playing Wilsterman and San Jose Bolivia. Wanted to get this recorded so I can render it and have it ready to go this afternoon. I think this one goes up Friday, but again, I try to stay a couple of days ahead just because I just never know when stuff's going to happen. So, uh, anyway, um... What else is going on? I don't think I haven't recorded this in, in a few days. I don't think we've had any more recent transfers. Eight. Nope. That's fine. Um, all right. Well, let's get into it. All right. So we are on the road. We are underdogs. It's heating up. 93 degrees here in August. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue with this tactic. Um, ooh, we are a little weak in the mid. Uh, we still have uh, Sergio Adrian out for about two more months. Uh, Mesa's ineligible. Oh, can't play against his parent club. That's fine. Uh, Charamoni's the guy I want in there anyway. Uh, Fernandez, what's your deal? You're at 84%, so you needed a rest. And Sadie Flores is at 85%. All right, well... Uh, you know what? I am going to put <laughs> Let's put Fernandez on the bench. Just, you know, we could probably use him later. Uh, but anyway, that is one of the things. Oh, I guess I needed to show you the standings. So currently we're in ninth position, 15 points. We're falling off the pace a little bit. Again, we're only supposed to fight to avoid relegation, so, you know, that's, you know, this is not a surprise. We're still winning matches, you know, which is great, and uh, we're, we're in fifth position overall, so not, not the second position we were, but still way off the, way off the relegation pace, so I'm okay with that. Uh, oh, I do want to give a quick welcome... Let's see, I got to get into my YouTube account here. Uh, let's see, Fernando Ribeiro, uh, I'm guessing South American. Uh, he he uh, subscribed uh, a couple of days ago. I believe he made a comment about, uh, oh, Ahmed Tarek. I don't know if he subscribed, but he made a comment on uh, episode six. Um, 
good job of South American leagues are so complicated. It's got a little bit easier. Just you have to, you know, there's some really strange things like the two yellow cards. I mean, you know, like I said, if I was playing with that, uh, you know, half my team is suspended all the time. Uh, Jeffrey Chrono, Crownover, Cronover, uh, the Custard Prophet. Uh, welcome to the channel. By the way, the Custard Prophet, um, he is another FM YouTuber, small channel like mine. Um, he uh, actually may be a smaller channel than mine, but what he's doing is he is doing a um, series called Meet the Managers. Uh, so I will try to put a link to his video in the video description if I remember, uh, and I'm horrible about that. But uh, basically what it is, is he's doing uh, short little episodes about other FM YouTubers uh, with small channels. So it's not the Loki Dokies or the Lelujos, it's people like me. Uh, in fact, I think I'm going to be in episode two, which should come out in about another week or so, uh, from what he told me. So anyway, it's just a chance to kind of meet, uh, you know, kind of like Q&A interview with, uh, with, the, with the YouTubers. Uh, some video interspersed from their channel uh so you can kind of see their game style how they how they talk how you know what the recording looks like and gives you a chance to maybe you know find some youtube channels that uh you know you won't normally find because if you type in football manager or fm19 or whatever uh you know it's it's the lelujos and the dr benjis of the world that show up in in the suggestions and you don't see people like me and uh, the Custer Prophet and some of the other guys that he's going to be focusing on. So uh, go check out that, you know, that series and check him out. Uh, and thanks to him for doing that. You know, anything that can try to bring bring us, you know, into the more mainstream, I think is great um, for the FM community. So uh, anyway, check that out. All right, let's get to the match because I need to do this and then go to work today. Uh, I am going to be able to probably do a good bit of recording over the next couple of days uh, we're off Monday for Labor Day uh, from work, but I'm going to take off uh, Thursday and Friday. Uh, so tomorrow and Friday. Uh, so I should be able to do a good bit of recording. Although the purpose of taking off is to uh, be home to help my daughter out uh, while her boyfriend goes back to work. Oh my God, that was close. Man, little bend on goal. That was scary. Scary. All right, let's uh, let's uh, da, 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 get creative. We can do that. We're sitting on 52% possession. We're playing all right. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes this. Oh, what a! Oh my God! Oh yeah! Oh, I think he planned that out all the way. Bengalea with his second goal of the season. Bounces it off the post. I think he did that on purpose to throw the goalkeeper out of position for the open net. Uh, that was a brilliant play, dude. Kept it right on sides. Oh, look at that. Just, you know, I, yeah, I think that was all planned. All planned. That was incredible. That's got to be goal of the season because I think that was 100% planned out. Come on, boys. Keep them out. Uh, okay, we'll set up a corner. Holding on to the 1-0 lead. Let's uh, let's praise. Try to keep them motivated. All right, that one goes out. Just curious your thoughts. So Leeds, uh, Leeds lost yesterday in the, uh, in the cup. Uh, five. Uh, well, they 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 drew two two. Good solid comeback in the second half. They played a, I think nine pe uh, eight eight people rotated out of their regular starting squad, and uh, they were down two nil. Brought in some starter some of their starting eleven in the second half. Uh, tied it at two uh, against Stoke, and then uh, went to penalties, and it was five. Four heading into the last shooter for Leeds and uh, hit the woodwork. In fact, kind of like that shot right there. Uh, over the top, Sharamoni. Oh, it was knocked away. Damn it. Um, so they lost. 
So kind of curious what your thoughts are, you know, when you're, you know, I think this year Leeds is definitively playing for promotion. You know, if it's, it's, it's promotion or bust this year. If, if, if they don't get promoted to the premier this year, I think it's a failed season, uh, no matter how we do. Last year, I was disappointed, but it was like, still, we finished third overall. We made the playoffs, you know, and yeah, we blew a three-goal lead or four-goal lead going into the final round of the playoffs, but, eh, you know, it was still a good season compared to where we've been for a long time. Um, but this year expectations are so high, I think, uh, because of what they did last year with Bielsa coming back. Uh, they've shown, you know, there was a little concern about um, not enough in the transfer window, which is typical at Leeds. But their their bench looks much deeper and more solid than it did last year. Um, so I, I think it's I think it's uh, promotion or bust this year. Um, anything other than promotion is going to be a, a failure, um, in my opinion. Uh oh, lumped. Uh, Charmoni couldn't get onto that. Um. But so talking about the cup, you know, when, when, when the expectations are what they are, right, is, oh, there's a through ball. Oh, taken down in the box. Sharamoni's going to take the penalty. Ortega's got to be off. That's got to be a red. Just a yellow for taking him down on a goal opportunity? Ooh, questionable decision by the referee. Yes, this is. If we hold on, 15th of the season. Jeez. You remember we had, like, guys that didn't score 15 goals in four seasons at our previous club? Man, this is like real football. 15 goals in a season. Holy shit. We're going to praise them some more. All right. Let's, uh, Elaziche. I just don't have anybody else. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna run these guys into the ground. Uh, Bengalea. Let's bring uh, Bejarano in. Um, do I have anybody that can play there? Defensive mid. Um, you know what? I'm gonna bring. I want the yellow off, I think. I know Elizice is more tired, but so let's do that and then that. Just to get the yellow card off. Oh my god, that was like a real throw in to a teammate. Oh, that was horrible though. Um, so <laughs> I can't finish my thought. So when expectations are promotion to the Premier League, are you more worried about the league and playing for promotion or the cup? Oh, nice save by Queller. Um, you know, I mean, I'm disappointed to be out of the cup, but it's the Carabao Cup. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think I'm very upset. Um, would we have liked to have gone further? Sure. Is it disappointing to lose to Stoke after we just destroyed them? Two days or three days earlier, yes. But we played a lot of backups. Like I said, it was an eight-man rotation rotated squad, right? Um, so I think I'm okay with it. I was just kind of curious about your thoughts. Let me know in the comments what you think. Cup or league? I know both would probably be the uh, preferred answer. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, don't stop playing. Play till the whistle blows, man. Oh, nice ball to Chica. Oh, Luna, Luna De, 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 Diali should have had that one. Speaking of Luna, that's my uh, granddaughter's uh, middle name. Luna Wren is her middle name. 
Ah, come on. Let's put one in the net, boys. Let's concentrate. Let's try to keep them focused. Oh, nice little tackle by Bejarano. All right, he's got runners. Oh, he lays it up. Oh, he's open in the middle. He's open in the middle. Ah, come on, boys. You got to learn to put the nail in the coffin here. Shit. I certainly would like 3 nothing better than 2 nothing. All right, all right. Oh, uh, Sharamoni. Yeah, he, he's got pace. Oh, yeah, you can't score from there, dude. Nobody to support him. Eight shots apiece. We're a little on the low side, but we've got five chances created. That's been a brilliant game for us. Sandoval picks up a yellow. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to bring in... Uh, Let's bring in Terrazas. I don't remember. I don't know much about him. 21 years old, a little bit of pace, really good crossing and first touch. Yeah, let's bring him in. I'm kind of psyched to have him on the pitch. It's like bringing on Helder Costa, right? Leeds fans know what I'm talking about. When's the last time you signed a $15 million player and then had him come off the bench for 10 or 15 minutes a match? Oh, another good save by Hernandez. Not really being tested on some of these shots, but that's all right. Oh, look at the snag on the foot, man. Dude. All right, plays it back. Stand oh, quick one touch by Sandoval. Maldonado. All right, up to the midfield pretty quickly. Up to Chica. Laid off to Bejarano. Ah, come on, guys. <clears throat> oh, into the box. That was a little bit of a dangerous ball. Gave us an opportunity. Oh, tapped away. I think we've got this here. I don't think they scored two goals in three minutes, but stranger things have happened, yeah? Let's praise them here right at the end. Oh, they're still fired up, man. They're still, you know, they're still out looking. Hold them, boys. Oh, good clearance. Good clearance. There we go. Full time, boys. Good win. Excellent efforts. All right. We'll be back for uh, San Jose here in just a second. So I remember what I wanted to talk about, the third thing at the, uh, in the intro there. Uh, so the bad news coming out about Bury yesterday getting, uh, getting shut down uh, by the EFL. Um, man, very disappointing. There's got to be a way to... tear out more of the Premier League money. Uh, that's the, I think that's the only way to really save football as a whole. Um, and, and I don't think it has to be a lot, but I think what you also have to do is if, a, you know, don't make that money mandatory to take, but, you know, have, say, have the Premier League teams put X number of dollars or a certain percentage, you know, 2%, 5%. Of their of their end of season payouts of their TV money, uh, whatever it may be, into a pool, and God, it can't be FIFA because I don't you know I don't think those people are trustworthy. Um, but and, and I think you know if it's from the Premier League, we're talking about only about England, of course, right? Spain, France, they'd have to do it themselves for with their contracts. But I think you could tier it the same way. But like in uh, in American baseball, for example, um, there is no salary cap. And there's no salary cap in football, soccer. But what I'm thinking is if if a club gets money from this pool, and if you invest it and you have it gaining interest, then that should grow every year because not every club needs money. And this would be money to draw in an emergency to keep the club afloat. 
but I think there would have to be complete transparency of the books, independent auditors that are not with the league, because honestly, I don't trust the EFL board as far as I can throw them, because I've just seen way too much shady shit out of those people. Um, so there would have to be an organization, possibly, you know, through through the crown, maybe. I mean, through through the queen, you know, or through the government. I don't know. Um, not giving them access to the money, but you know, to authorize payouts, to audit books, and see if clubs are managing their books right. When you have clubs like Derby last year that sold their stadium to themselves. Uh, that's shady as hell, and I guarantee if Leeds would have done that, <laughs> uh, there would have been an outcry, you know, um, uh, you know, that would still be going on today. Uh, I guarantee it. Uh, but anyway, um, that if a club takes money from this pool, then it has to be spent on operations. It can't go to the owner and go into their pocket. Um but I think, you know, there needs to be there needs to be something done because, you know, closing a club that's got a, a century of history, that's that's just horrible, man. I just I, I don't know. That's and I feel bad for those people. And I know that, you know, they've talked about, uh, you know, Leeds was in that position. And, you know, I say my fanship of Leeds goes back to the 70s, around 76. But you got to remember at that time. We, you know, we were not able to watch Premier League, let alone Champion League or, or League One. Uh, well, that's a good start. Uh, in uh, in the United States, it wasn't you know ESPN didn't pick up the championship till last year. You know, year before. No, no, I'm sorry, the year before last. So, Profacio, yeah. um, that was not good, sir. But uh, anyway, just uh, there's got to be something to do there. And I, I, you know, I don't know the answer, but, you know, there's got to be something that could be done to save clubs like that. All right, he lumps that one out. Oviedo plays it back to Quellar. We'll reset, rebuild it from the back. Baron Dogue. So what have you thought about the club here? I've been pretty impressed. Uh, oh, there's a cross in. Oh, defender just got a leg out on it. Hey, Lee, my lizard, my, my lizard Lee Zard over there. He just came running across the uh, tank. I was like, what are you, what are you looking at, dude? Looks like he sees something, but there ain't nothing to see. Hi. <laughs> Fernandez, oh, horrible. What the hell was that? Oh, man, that was ugly. Oh, and Bejarano stomps him from behind. Oh, no card, thank God. Juarez, from range. Oh, nice layout. Superman by Johnson. Johnson, that's about the most American name I've seen here. So, yeah, I had to send Miles a... Uh, a tweet this morning uh i said man my granddaughter just got here and i was uh had a little bit of grandpa money to buy her a brick coming home gift and then fm20 re you know pre-releases and i had to buy that instead <laughs> the priorities yeah <laughs> so <laughs> oh man oh come on uh he got it over the wall but 5-0 on shots, two long shots, three off target. We're just not not looking good here, man. All right, Luna Diali. Headed out, Fernandez. Break them down, boys. All right, plays it outside, Profacio. Yeah. Come on, fellas. All right, let's get creative here. Juarez. Oh, a through ball. Luna Diali. Oh, he didn't take the touch. Damn it. You got to pounce on those opportunities, guys. Woo. Bad camera angle. Bad camera angle. So 
So I'm interested to see what the changes to FM20 are. Um, I was watching a red card. Oh, come on. Seriously? Oh, crap. All right. Um... We go there, and then we go here. Profacio, defensive mid, mid center. Um, da, 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 da. Bengaloa, he could play out there. I think we have to bring Profacio off. We'll bring Sandoval on for him. All right. Tighten up. 10 to 1 on shots. And we're going to end up losing another game because we're a man down. God. Not happy with that. All right, Flores. Flores overlaps with the ball into space, lays it off. Charamoni. Juarez. Uh, he took a touch outside the box. Another long shot. You're not helping me up there, guy. Well, that's an early sub in the first half. Oh, come on. All right, a couple of yellows. We do have a couple of guys suspended with yellow card accumulation. And that is all right. It's part of the game. I like to play aggressive. Uh, yeah, we'll sympathize with them. Uh, we do need you guys to avoid bookings. Please. Start the second half. All right, Sargadia, Sandoval. Kickoff highlight. Not expecting much here. Maybe they'll surprise me. Not really. Not really. <laughs> okay, Juarez. Oh, come on. Six long shots. Well, we've got one shot on target now. Yay. Get creative. All right, don't play with the ball. Get it out. Luna Diali. Crossed over to Juarez. Oh, he takes the touch from range. Uh, let's see. we got a lot of guys here. Mid-right. Let's bring on... Uh, Let's bring on Serrano, maybe. Yeah, Serrano's good. That'll be our second sub. Hey, Harley. Come on, boys. I'll be happy with a point right now. I mean, you know, we've dominated. Even, even after the sending off, we're up four, what, four to zero on shots. So I think we're, we're okay there. Um, but I think I'll be, I'd like the win, but I think we'll, We'll be happy with a draw just because we're a man down. Come on, boys. All right, let's... Uh, Charmoni. Striker. Let's bring in uh, Bejarano. Let's put some fresh legs up top, see if we can crack that goal. Or get FM'd right here at the end. <laughs> well, tapped away, and then he didn't go after the ball. Come on. Sadie Flores playing a 7.3. Boy, he's dead 60%. 16 to 3. Hmm. Edwin Baca. 
Oh, can we pull it out? Put it in. Nope. Nope. All right. Well, we'll take the point. A four-point episode. I believe that's probably good. Um, unlucky boys wasn't our day. That didn't impress him very much. Hold on to a draw. Baradog. Uh, I believe, let me just double check, because that was a straight red, yes? Yes. All right, so I am going to uh, find him. All right, uh, let's finish out the day, take a look at the standings, and then figure out where we're going to come back. Ugh. So how do you guys, I mean, this is, I think this second, this closing leg is kind of more realistic than the opening leg where we finished top of the table. Uh, that does qualify us for the cup next year, though. So automatic qualification. We're going to probably, we're going to have to, we're going to have to strengthen the squad, I think, next year. The question is, can we afford to? I, I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, Fernandez, yellow card limit. All right, so yeah. So, you know, we've, we've turned it around a little bit. We haven't conceded in three. We haven't conceded a ton of goals since Aurora. So we're on about a month of pretty solid defensive form. Competitions, got, that's gotten us back up into seventh position, 19 points. I mean, we're 10 points behind Bolivar. No big deal, um, you know. But we're 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 in this pack chasing top five, and I'm okay with that. I think that's that's realistic. And yeah, if we can hold on to top five, I'd be really happy. Bolivar's starting to pull away this year, but you know, with this closing leg. But you know, so be it. Uh, let's see injuries. We've got two. Where do we want to come back, fellas? Uh, we are two months left in the season. Why don't we come back for, uh, let's see, we played Aurora and Pari last time. We've only got one more match against Bolivar. But I don't think I want to come back that quick. Let's come back for, uh, let's, let's come back for Strongest and Blooming. And then we'll come back for the end of the season. Um, down here, uh, we just played Wilsterman. So what I may do is I may play Potosi and then do Wilsterman off camera and then do Ready uh, to close out the, uh, the season. Uh, so that'll give us two more episodes for this year. And then we can get into uh, to next season. Um, so anyway, lots of uh, stuff this month. So F, uh, this episode, so FM20 coming out, Bury getting getting shut down completely, um, and um, my granddaughter can't forget that. Uh, least important to you, probably most important to me. So uh, anyway, hey guys, hit that like button for me. Subscribe. Let me know what you think of the season. Uh, how how the club's doing? Anybody standing out to you? uh on you know in the squad uh let's see we've got uh 15 in 25 for charmoni bejarano's got nine in 30 what's that 33 uh some really good average ratings uh so you know a lot of guys playing over seven so we're playing well Pachico, I need him back four days he comes back to training that'll be really good to have him back uh, Adrian, we need him back as well, but we've got about another month and a half to two months. That'll help out our midfield, but I just don't think that's going to be. Yeah. I mean, that could be last couple of games of the season, so I'm not expecting him back uh, to be of much help. So, yeah, we're, we're pretty weak in the midfield, but, um, you know, that's because of the two injuries. So, that happens that happens all right guys well again hit the like button subscribe uh, let me know what you think about everything we talked about and we will see you next episode have a good one bye